Hi everyone, I just finished hacking my ZD915. I have done some improvements here. This is my desoldering station. Something that I've done here firstly was removing this dropper, voltage dropper. This in fact uses the 18 volts that comes out of the power supply from these white two wires and feeds 12 volts to the motor when you press the trigger here. I replace it with a step down converter that I have here as an example. This allows 3 amps to uh, pass through it. Having a bigger one that allows more current to pass through it will be a better choice, but I just have this here. I might have to replace it. Um, the fan was connected to the same wires like this, although I, ha I have a connector, they are in parallel. So I have my fan connected to the input of these wires here that allows the motor to run. This is 18 volts as I said and the fan as you can see is 24 volts so I don't have a problem here. The output is 12 volts. I had to set up my step down converter before connecting it to the motor so I could see 12 volts on the output. I just had to screw this potentiometer with a screwdriver. Also some improvement that I had done, I had um, a reverse bias diode here, so when the motor stops it doesn't spike back to my uh, step down converter by and destroying it. Also I removed the cover from the power supply so the air can flow through it. I also have to rotate the power supply so it doesn't get in contact with the motor when it's vibrating. Also I had to cut this hole here and I put the um, these rubber wires that already are here it's just I just put it here and I, the output of it I've used the same hole that the power supply already came with. Some other improvement that I've done was the hair flow. I've removed the, um, the back of it and I'm pr I pretend to use one of these grids but I don't have the right size for it so I might have to buy it. But this allows the hair to flow better than it was before I've done this improvement. I also had to modify on front on the front because this is too sharp. So I decided to have electrical tape here around the tubing, the vacuum tube, and I here I decided to put the wires to the top and not allowing it to pass through it because I don't want them to cut and short down. As you can see, everything is working fine. There are people that are using a transistor here, so you don't have to run the amps from the, bo the button. But, well, maybe it's a great idea, maybe you don't have to. It depends on how much current this button can handle. And that's it, I hope you have enjoyed this hack. If you have made something better, some improvements, leave it in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed it. Have a nice day. And if you like, please like, share and subscribe.